so many examples. What is that? Moving car. So mm, bike. The first example is what? Moving car, moving aeroplane, moving bus, whatever it is. Moving bicycle, riding bicycle, whatever it is. Example. Natural examples. Suppose water is flowing in the river. As we know, river. What is the properties of river? Always continuously in motion. Yes or no? Water will never be in a stagnant position in the river. Always water will keep on moving in the river. So that we can say what? It is example of motion or not? Motion. Motion. motion sir. Water flowing in a river. You can write. Water flowing in a... Water flowing in a river. Now, same way, so many other examples you can make, natural examples. Let me see who will say. Tiger running. Tiger running in a bar. Very good. No, I am. Sir, the fish. What? For example, Earth is moving around the sun. Is it in what? Earth. Motion. Motion. Yes. Earth is moving around the sun. What is that? Motion. Yes, moving around the sun is in motion okay now as i told you guys you all people know rest when we can say state of rest just now i said with res with respect to angle of reference same object may appear as in state of rest with respect to some other angle of uh, uh, position then we can say the same object is appears as a what same object is appears as a motion motion no? so that is why so both Rest and motion, both are relative or not? Both are having some relation or not? With respect to position, the same object is appears as in motion, same object is appears as in rest. So that is why we can say rest and motion are relative in nature. What is that? State of rest, motion, motion are relative. So what do you mean by relative? Example. Just now I said, what is the example? You can take, a man on the earth is at rest with respect to whom? With respect to earth, correct or not? So if I am standing on the earth, with respect to earth, I am in motion or rest, with respect to earth. With respect to earth, I am, I am standing on the earth, I am uh, with respect to earth, I am comparing with earth. I am in state of rest or motion. Rest. rest. But, but with, the with respect to the sun, I am in what? With respect to the sun? Motion. 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 Right? Understanding? With respect to the, suppose I am I am living on the Mars. With respect to me, with respect to the Mars, I am in rest. With respect to the Earth, by that time, what is that? I am in motion. Understand? That is what you have to remember. That is why we can say always rest and motion. Both are what are is? Both are? Relative. Understand? So we can make example. So what is the example? You can write the example. A man on the earth is at rest. A man, a man on the earth. A man on the earth. I think I don't need to write more things. A man on the earth. A man on the earth. Is at rest with respect to what? A man on yeah. the earth. Yeah. He is at rest with respect to earth. With respect to earth. But what is that? But he is in motion with respect to what? Sun. Anything other, any other planet you can take. But he is in motion with respect with respect to what? Sun. So that is why we can say always rest and motion, both are in what? Both relative. Relative in nature. That is what you have to understand. Now, have you understand motion? What is motion? Clear, everybody? Yes, sir. We can make yes, hundreds sir. of examples. That is why. So as you are studying motion, opposite to the motion, what is the motion opposite word? Rest. So we should know the meaning of rest also. So now, what we can say here is rest. So motion means a body is set to be in motion if it ch changes its position with respect to surroundings and time. But now rest, 
same definition we can write but one word will come what is that word extra word that's not in the uh, position with respect to surroundings and time then we can say it is in motion so please allow me write the same definition but you have to add what that's not Does does not right. A body is set to be at rest. A body is set to be at rest. A body is set to be at rest. A body or object. A body is set to be at rest. Set to be at rest. When? If it does not change its position. If it If it does only does and not is going to be happen. Yes or no? Not is going to come. Okay. If it does not change its change its position, change its position. If it does not change its position, does not change its position with respect to the surroundings. Does not change its position. with respect to surroundings with respect to surroundings and as well as one more thing what is that prathini time surroundings and time so that is what it is so can you tell me the example so many so many examples you can take your, your books only best mm-hmm. example yes a book on the table a house a tree etc everything is example of what rest all okay so you kept you you kept the suppose i kept the bottle here so what is the state of the rest rest a book kept on the table you can take a book a book a book on the table a book on the table a book on the table next what we can say a house a tree etc so this all are what we can call ready stationary our objects is in state of rest okay understand yes. aram galas that is so any doubt you can ask so this yes, is a, what is state of rest and as well as state of motion so when we can say when we simply if you want to say motion what you can say anybody So like movement. Motion. If the object is having movement, we can say what? Motion. Motion. But motion. Okay. If object is does not have motion, and is movement, movement. M O V E M U N T. Movement. We can say. Okay. M O V E M E N T. Movement. Clear? That is what you have to observe. Okay. But you can observe very carefully. Some movements very fastly you can observe. Some movements. very uh, it will it is not possible to observe very easily for example let us take you all having wall clock in our home is it yes or no yes, yes or no yes sir no yes sir some, some yes, sir. movement of the some uh, some uh, we can take for example seconds hands we are having three hands in the wall clock what is the three hands seconds heart minutes of the minutes and hour now you tell me which hands we can observe easily very fastly we can observe seconds. the seconds Second Seconds. One. So easily we can observe the movement, movement, m o v e m e n t movement, or motion. But suppose you have been just seen one time, are you able to observe the motion in minutes hand and as well as hours hand? It's a bit hard. Little bit hard. Suppose if you have been observed some more time, you can observe the change in the minutes hand also. But yes, sir. If you want to observe the change in the hours hand, so is it possible to observe easily? No, sir. No. So as we know, minutes hand is quite fast. So same way, some motions are very, very, very faster, so that we can easily notice the movement. But some motions are very, 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 very slow. So it is very difficult to observe its movement immediately. For example, if we take snail. Snail and as well as you let me take some rabbit or something or honeybee or whatever it is. Now, is it possible to observe the movement in snail easily? Yes, please. Snail. No, sir. It will no. be slow. 
So it is moving very, 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 very slow, like tortoise and rabbit story. You can see which one we can observe more fastly motion, rabbit or tortoise? Rabbit. Rabbit. Why rabbit? rabbit. Very fast. So that is what. So some motions, some movements of the bodies we can easily observe. Some movements it is very difficult to observe. So that is what. Even very slow. If the body is moves very slow, it is very difficult to. observe the motion so why i am saying you here sometimes even though the body is in motion we will feels that the body is in what the body is in motion because why because its motion is its movement is maybe very 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 slow so that is what you have to observe now for example let me take best example now when we are all standing on the earth are you feeling movement or rest Moment. rest rest why earth speed is very 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 less understand so so that we cannot observe it very easily for example you are standing on earth earth is fastly revolving like that will you people feel it or not yes sir we yes, feel that is what yes, sir earth moment is very 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 negligible like it is not even we won't even feel because we are already living on that surface that is why but if we we'll go to the astra like a space from that if we we'll see as we know every one one day earth will revolve so that definitely it is having some speed yes or no guys even yes. earth is having acceleration of how much you already studied in class 8th also acceleration of earth 9.8 meter per second square so that it's not a small acceleration big acceleration only so that we can notice it easily so that is what you have to remember so some movements some motions easily we can observe some movements cannot observe easily so you can take if you go to the park park if you go for example pudukottai if you go gandhi park you can do, you can do what guys swing yes or no you are having a swing if you take uh, if you take suppose that you have, that is what is that called as ra columbus columbus you know like a pendulum clock it will move uh, front and back to and from motion columbus If you go merry go round, merry go round, you know children used to uh, stand and they used to rotate. Yes or no? Merry go rounds. Yes, guys. Yes, sir. These all are also what? They all are different kinds of motion. Yes or no? Different yes, kinds of motion. Yes, sir. Not always moving in a straight line is called as motion. So swing or pendulum, or else you can take Columbus. How it will do? To and fro motion, going back, coming front, going back, coming front. This is also one kind of motion. And If we we'll take here, that is what you have to study now. The next concept which we are going to study is not there in our textbook, but still you need to know. So as we know already, people, if you will observe in the class eight or class seven, the null, you might be studied types of motions. Have you heard it? Have you heard it? Most yes, yes, with respect to surrounding sun time, the body is keep on displacing. So now. this displacement will be different kind of varieties lot of types of motions are present but mainly you have to study three types of motions a body can exhibit mainly how many types of motions three types three of three types of motions. okay but so many types of motions are there for example you can take here so for example let us move uh, you, you are riding a bicycle can i can i start guys let us uh, study the little bit more time for the types of okay. so now for example let me take this is your car now all your four members are riding a car now you tell me this is the a part of your car and this is your b part of your car now after this is what first point this is what right last point now after one minute you reach to this position you reach to what uh, you reach to this position now the distance traveled by is 1 km that is what i noticed it now you tell me you the distance traveled by your car is 1 km means is it only by front by front tires or only by back tires two tires every part yes or no so from front tire to front tire what is the distance what is the distance traveled One kilometer. One kilometer. One kilometer. From back tire to back tire. What is that? Again. One kilometer. One kilometer. One kilometer. So each part of the body will travel the same distance. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The same interval of time. 
time is also very important for example if you are traveling to somewhere is it our head will go first our legs will come late yes. no so car also if you are traveling in a car our front part for example travel 100 km per 1 hour then our back part also will travel how much same 100 km per 1 hour so equal distance each part of the body will travel equal distance in equal interval of time so this is the first type of motion that is what we used to call as translatory motion what we used to call guys Translatory motion. motion. Understand? So, what do you mean by translatory motion? Each part of the body will travel equal distance in equal interval of time. That is what we used to call as translatory motion. So, please, all of you, write. So, what is the first type of motion? Translatory motion. T R A N S L A T O R Y. Translatory motion. Translatory motion. So, what do you mean by translatory motion? Arun Gailash? Each part of the body will travel. What is that? Each part Equal. of the body, body travels equal distance in what? Equal interval of time. Equal interval of time. interval of time so that is what we can say so if you want you can draw this diagram also it is better for understanding yes guys a point a front wheel will travel one kilometer means back wheel also will travel one kilometer now this translatory motion so always it is moving in so you can say again for example your car is moving in a straight road so it is a straight means what we can say in mathematics linear motion yes or no please yes, respond sir. so linear so Translatory motion will be classified into two types. When the body is traveling in a straight line, when a body is traveling in a straight line, then we can say it is called as linear motion or we can say rectilinear motion. What do we to call? Rectilinear motion. Purima, Purila, please respond. Yes, sir. yes. Okay. when the body is traveling in a straight line, then we used to say it is a rectilinear motion clear now yes. suppose suddenly your road will come curve curve will come then what will happen guys curve your car will still will go in a straight line your car will go in a straight line no sir our car will take turn yes or no so by the time like this you can take here so this is what we used to call as what we used to call curvy linear motion in this case understand Curvy linear motion. So, translatory motion will be two types. What is that? When the body is in straight line, linear, linear motion or rectilinear motion. When the body is in curved path, when the body is traveling in curved path, we can say, body is in which motion? Curvy linear motion. Now, for example, let me take, this is the house of uh, Arun Kailash. Understand? Now, Arun Kailas is standing on the terrace. Now, he dropped the ball like this. So, what is this motion? He dropped the ball. What is this ball? What is the motion? This ball is, ball, ball is, he has been thrown like this. What is this motion? Rectilinear motion. Rectilinear or linear motion. Clear? Understand? Yes, sir. Suppose you all four members are playing carom board. Understand? Now, if you will strike, anybody can strike the carom. Anybody can strike the car, uh, striker. Now, always striker will go in a what? Karur path is it will go zigzag manner? Always it will go what? Straight line. Straight line. Always it will go straight line. Whatever you will hit, it will go. So it is also what we can say. Linear or linear or curvilinear motion. Linear. 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 Yeah, that is what. Now, let us imagine now, Reddy is standing in his house on the terrace. Okay. So now, Reddy thrown the ball like this. Like this, he has been thrown the ball. Then, ball is falling like this. Like this, he's thrown. Kailas is thrown like this. Or uh, Reddy is throwing like this. Then, in this case, then this is called as what? Ball is falling like this. Curvilinear. So in this case, we used to call it as what? Curvilinear motion. motion. Clear, everybody? So, this is the first type of motion which you have to study. So, what is that motion? 
anybody tell me used to call something normal or language also a middle part you can notice it suppose gandhi chakra also if you notice it that is what we used to call it as axis axle we can say yes or no yes please yes, so that is the midpoint is called as axis of rotation what we used to call axis of rotation axis of rotation now if we take bike wheel or car wheel whatever the wheel now or else if you we'll take in our fan in our home do you have a fan guys everybody yes sir you are yes, having sir, yes, sir no so if you we'll take the fan what will happen harish so we are having three wings majorly so now if you we'll take three wings so now if you we'll notice it so this is what let me imagine the fan so now fan is attached to middle middle it is attached to something so then this is this middle part only make to rotate this body continuously so now this middle part what we used to call Axis, axis of, of rotation. rotation. Axis of rotation. Now, without this middle part, is it possible to rotate the wings? No, sir. No, no sir. No. Then, without the middle part, is it possible to rotate the wheel? Any wheel? No, sir. No. No, no sir. sir. What we can say? Then, that is what. So, complete body, complete body is rotating based upon the what? With the help of what? Axis If, of rotation. Yeah, axis of rotation. So, with the help of what? With the help of axis of rotation, then that is that motion is called as what? That rotatory motion. Rotatory motion. Rotatory motion. A body cannot be treated as a point, and all the particles move simultaneously. All the particles. Is it if you're on the switch? Is it? Ah, uh, only one wing is rotating. After two minutes, second ring. After five minutes, third wing is rotating. No, sir. No. no when sir. you on the switch, immediately every part of body is started rotating. Please respond. Now, for example, let me take the wheel. Now, if you take the wheel, this part is touched to the ground. Do you understand, Harish? What I am saying? Yes. This part yes, is touched to the ground. now if this part will start moving is it only this part will move or every particle of this tire will move every every particle every particle of this that is your remember do you understand it so yes, a sir. body cannot be treated as a point do you understand it is not be treated as a point all the particles move simultaneously along circles understanding but whose center is lies on where whose center lies on a lion some midpoint that midpoint is called as what axis of rotation axis of rotation axis of rotation by shifting through an angle in a given time so that motion is 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 to called as what we used to call rotatory motion of rotatory or we can say rotatory motion so why i am saying shifting through an angle why i am saying shifting through an angle every it is in circular like a rotatory motion at every point the particle angle is keep on changes yes or no yes sir so what is the total angle what is the total angle 360 yes or no so for example if you'll consider like this now the particle is here so after it will moves to here so what is the angle travels 90 after here it will travels what is the angle 180 what is the angle here it will travel 270 again when it will travel here how much it is 360 so starting point is 0 degree so like that and every stationary angle keep on changing its position so that is what we used to say what we used to call guys 
and rotatory motion. motion okay so that is what you have to remember so rotatory motion some middle part will be there that is mandatory or not it is mandatory, mandatory sir. you understand so mandatory that is what we used to call what we used to call axis of rotation axis of rotation so please all of you write rotatory motion rotatory motion a body cannot be treated as a point a body cannot be treated as a point a body cannot be treated as a point a body is cannot be treated as a point but what is happening now treated as a point and all the particles move simultaneously and all the particles all the particles moves simultaneously all the particles move simultaneously along circles along circles but middle what will be there axis of rotation axis of rotation lines on a line whose center lies on a line what is that point called as line is called axis of center rotation yeah, axis of rotation are called axis of rotation axis of rotation by shifting through an angle by shifting through an angle through an angle by shifting through an angle in a given time in a given time what we can say it is in what the motion is rotatory understand uh, sun and it, axis of uh, yeah. rotation axis of rotation by shifting through an angle in a given time in a given time then the motion is rotatory so this motion only we used to called as rotatory motion is it okay harish very careful arish yes, learn very thing because later in this chapter we are going to find the angles of rotation also that for example olden days if you will see for crushing the dal and all they used to use uh, uh, two kinds of uh, stones between them they will keep and they will used to roll like this have you noticed it yes sir yes sir same way sir. if you go to the potter those who are making pots they are also using that uh, pot pot wheel pot wheel so where the small hole will be there on the axis of rotation so with that they used to with a the stick they used to rotate continuously fastly later they will re they will uh, remove and later only they will make the pot have you noticed it yes, so that point yes, is called as rim point what we used to call rim r i m rim point we can say so that rim point with the help of that rim point only you can see always we used to rotate so middle axis will be there suppose gandhi you can see he is rotating the handle so he is the rim the handle which is rotating is it at the center or at the extreme end the extreme yes. end Yes or no? So that potter, potter's wheel also you can see. If this is the potter's wheel, here will be the small dial where we can keep the stick and we'll keep on rotating. Yes or no? So then it will be keep yes, on sir. rotating fastly. So that is what we we used to call as rim we used to say. Okay. So this is all about the rotatory motion. The second very important motion. Basically, three motions are needed for us. But so many motions are there. I want to say you. I will say you. Translatory motion, rotatory motion, circular motion, oscillatory motion, vibratory motion, periodic motion. Understanding non-periodic motion, mixed motion. Like that, lot of motions are there, but that uniform motion. Yeah, uniform means that is only period. Yeah, uniform motion, non-uniform motion. Periodic or non-periodic motion, everything. It's all we used to call as a types of motions. But for us, three motions because for this chapter we need only three types of motions. That is one is translatory motion, second one is rotatory motion, and third one is oscillatory motion. So why I am saying this oscillatory motion is first one, translatory motion, moving car in a straight road. Yes or no, guys? Yes, Please. Sir. Next, okay. motion. As I told you, 
rotatory motion what is a rotatory motion example merry go uh, remember merry go round as i told you merry go round means kids will stand middle it will be rotating like this have you noticed it yes sir uh, merry go round it will go to the gandhi park and all uh, one person is to rotate the children will sit in a shapes like a fish uh, like a, something like a duck or some animal animal say there they will sit and this person is to rotate have you noticed it merry go round yes, sir Yeah, merry go round. Or else you might be see a boy will stand like this, and if he will start rotating, it will be keep on rotating. That is what merry go round. That is why we are studying what rotatory motion. Next, if you take as I told you, that is uh, what is that Harry says told you that name I forgot. Columbus. Wow, yeah, Columbus. Columbus means like a pendulum to moving going back to and from motion. So that to and from motion only we used to call it as what we used to call. The to and from motion we used to call it as oscillatory motion. Understand? So that is why that oscillatory motion we'll study. So oscillatory motion means that let it be finished. This oscillatory motion last concept of today's class. That is what oscillatory motion. Oscillatory motion. Okay. So keep adding oscillatory motion. What is the spelling of oscillatory motion? O S C I L L E O S C I L L E oscillatory motion. So what do you mean by oscillatory motion? Coming forward and going back. Yes. Sir. Yes. Oscillatory motion. So oscillatory motion means remember guys nothing. So for example, if we we'll take one thread and we will tie something like a stone and if we we'll hold it, it will start disturbing. It will start moving, going forward and coming back, going forward and coming back. Yes or no, guys? Like this, it will be keep on. Or else, if you take, if you are having pendulum clock in our home, you can see tang 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 tang. Every time it is keep on oscillating like this. Yes, sir. No pendulum clock. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sound also it will produce every one hour. One o'clock, one o'clock, one p.m. Like that it will say every one hour. Pendulum clocks we can say. Like that if we we'll go to the park, Columbus. Columbus what? It won't be rotating completely. What it will rotate? Only it will going forward. Coming back, backwards. Next. Again, going forward. Again, coming back. This is what we used to say. Going forward to and going backward fro. To and fro motion. Understanding what we used to call to and to fro, fro motions. Fro motion. To and fro motion. We used to call as oscillatory motion. So right. If a periodic motion is within a certain limits, if a periodic motion, periodic means what? Again and again, it is repeating same. Is there no harsh? Again and again, going forward, coming back, going forward, coming back, going forward, coming back. But that speed must be in a certain limits. For example, fastly it is moving fastly, then it is called as vibratory motion. Do you understand me, everybody? So that is what I am saying. It should be in a what? It should be in a certain limits. Do you understand me? If it is become extremely fast, then that motion is called as what? Then that motion is called as Vibratory motion. Do you understand it? So this to and fro motion must be in a certain limit. Then we can say it is called as oscillatory motion. Clear, everyone? Yes, sir. Ready, Arun Gailash? That is. Oh, please write. If a period of motion is within certain limits, within certain limits means same thing. It is oscillating slowly or with some speed. Okay. But if it is over speed, then It is called as vibratory motion. Keep it in mind. That is why we are saying within certain limits. If a period periodic motion is within certain limits, within certain limits, or 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 or, or if it is to and fro, if it is to and fro, if it is to and fro, what we used to call her is to and fro. As I told you. To and fro, to and fro. Or you can see, to and fro means what? Going forward, coming backward. Going forward, coming backward. Yes or no? Or else now you tell me. Going up, down. Going up, down. Going up, down. Then also, then also called as what? Oscillatory motion only. Do you understand it? Oscillatory motion only. For example, I kept one iron scale and I oscillated like this, like that. You can see it will be keep on moving like this, up and down, up and down, up and down. That is also called as what? What we used to call? Oscillatory motion. So, or if it is to and fro, if it is to and fro, or up and down, 
or up and down to and fro or up and down up and down then comma it is said to be what it is oscillatory motion yeah it is said to be oscillatory motion so we can say what is the examples simple pendulum you can say what example simple pendulum understanding you can say columbus and all you can write so simple pendulum means nothing guys you will hold you will hold the some the thread up with your hand now one thread is extended little bit down so you you hold it at top understand or else we can say rigid body it is tied to the rigid body now here i tied some kind of metal body that is what we used to say bob what we used to call bob okay now if we start taking here and if we leave it then it will be keep on moving to and fro to and fro like this it is so this is what we used to call it as what we used to call it simple pendulum okay simple pendulum we, we used to say so we can take simple pendulum pendulum clock pendulum clock okay these all are examples of what examples of oscillatory motion. motion clear that is what you have to remember it so this is all about the today's class so we studied in today's class what is that guys what is motion what is rest what is the relation between how motion is relative to relate to rest next one important types of motion which is performed by a body what is that translatory motion translatory motion translatory motion circular motion motion but oscillatory some types of motions are there as i said understanding periodic motion non periodic motion uniform motion non uniform motion understanding vibratory motion mixed motions means single object more than one motion is present then mixed motions we can say this all are present but this is the three important motions which we need for class 9 because three examples i said what is the three examples a car is moving second one is merry go round third one is what oscillating up pendulum or we can pendulum. say pendulum or columbus okay so that is what it is pendulum of a clock or hand uh, that is what or else you can take a uh, merry go round hands of a watch also hands of a watch also what fixed axis and three needles is keep on rotating yes or no guys yes sir yes, so that is why i take main important three motions for class 9th is translatory motion rotatory motion and oscillatory motion oscillatory so with this i will leave you so this is all about the today's class thank you tomorrow all of you get ready by the same time but tomorrow i will leave you sharply by 7 o'clock so that you can okay so this is all about it so thank you so much everybody bye we'll meet in the next class thank you sir sir thank you sir thank you sir yes please good